Hello friends welcome back to our TS Info YouTube channel this is Ganesh Yadav in this video we are going to discuss if statement in power apps drop down control first of all open your power apps with your respective microsoft credentials and whenever you want to create a blank canvas of just click on the create button here select the blank app and choose blank canvas of then click on the create button here provide the app name here you can see the format is by default a tablet format then click on the create button once your app is created just expand the insert button here search the radio button and select the radio button control and change the radio button name And you can also change the radio button control layout option using the layout property. Here you can see there is a vertical and horizontal layout options is available. Now I want to use vertical layout. Now set its items property of a radio button control. For that select the items property. Here you can see these are my radio button controls items or records. You can also change the radio size as well as font size also. Now insert a text label. Then set its text to property as. Here you can see the power ups if function is used to test one or more conditions until a true result is found. Radio products is my power apps radio button name, laptop, television, tablet, air condition are radio button choice values and $1,500 these are values which display on the text label. Now once your app is ready just save and publish the app. Now go to the preview option. When a user select any product value from the radio button control, the text label will display the selected value price as like this. Next I will discuss the power apps radio button choices using if statement from SharePoint online list. Here you can see this is my SharePoint online list as training courses. Inside this I have added different columns with various data types. Here you can see this is my choice column like technology. And here I am using these choices like power apps, power automate, power bi, SharePoint. Now I would like to add this choice column values in a power apps radio button control. And whenever user selects any value from the power apps radio button control it will navigate to another screen to achieve it go to the power apps you can make sure connect to the respect to sharepoint online list to, to the power apps for that go to the data section here select add data and search sharepoint and select sharepoint Here you can choose the respect to SharePoint online site. Then choose your respect to SharePoint online list like training courses. Then click on the connect button. Now add another blank screen. Then insert a radio button control. then set its items property as here you can see this is my sharepoint online list as training courses and technology is sharepoint online list choice field
is the radio button name then insert another blank screen here change the screen name now insert a text label then set its text to property as here I will display the radio button selected value now go to the previous screen here set the radio button control on select property here you can see radio training courses is my power apps radio button name and courses detail screen is my power up second screen name now save the app then go to the preview button here select the any value from the radio button control it will navigate to the second screen in the last i will show you power apps radio button using if condition on edit form for that i have used my sharepoint online list as digital platforms inside this i have added different columns with various data types here here i am using this choice field like plan to radio button control and whenever the user select any subscription plan like standard or premium from the power apps radio button the text input control will display the price based on the selected subscription plan for that go to the power apps here connect the respect to sharepoint online list for that go to the data section and select the add data and here you can select SharePoint. Then choose your respective SharePoint online site. Then choose your respective SharePoint online list like digital platforms. Then click on the connect button. Now insert another blank screen. Then insert a edit form. Now connect the respect to data source like SharePoint online list. Now select the text input control and change the default property like. Here you can see data card value 1 is my power apps text input, Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, Disney Plus are my SharePoint text field values and radio plans is my power apps radio button control name. And you should remember that change the default mode as new. Then go to the preview button. Now enter the title. Then select the plan from the radio button control. Here you can see whenever user select any value from the power apps radio button, the text input will display the selected subscription plan price like this. Yes, this is all about if statement in power apps radio button control. I hope guys you like this video to give a like and do subscribe our YouTube channel for more free videos on SharePoint online power apps, power automate and power BI. Thank you.